Hello and welcome back to a new lesson. In today's lesson, we will be working on the master bedroom. We have these closets that are nice. Later, I imagine we will make all of these slightly like this for all parts and also for the floor. But I think I will do that at the very end. Now, we have a desk and we have an upper cabinet. So let's do this. Here is my desk. I'm going to set it like to a height of 5. And I will set this to a height of 90 for now. And I'll make a duplicate of this. Press Ctrl V, click Yes, and just move it. And for this here, we can make 40, 35. And so I'll move, I will offset this about 80 centimeters, like so. And I will set the height to something like also A. But I will uh, move it all the way to the ceiling, actually. That should be more than 80. 120. Perfect. Now we need to do this side. Here, I will rotate this and I will move it to here. Just press 1. Select these vertices, put them here. And I will select a box to make the bed. So 160 by 205, and we can set the height to something like 40 for now. I like this. We need to make a duplicate of this mesh. So let's do that. We can also move this 80 and set the height of this to 120. And let's set the width like 35 of the closet. And let's make two more boxes for the nightstand. So I'm going to set the height to 60, 40, 60 by 40. Put one here and one here. The table, we agreed we're going to make it nice for the cables. So let's do that. I'll add one connect here and then select both of these and do the following. Add a swift loop, go to the top view, select this and this and delete. And let's see what is the distance. It's two centimeters. Then I press 2 on my keyboard to have edge mode selected. I will bridge this and then I can simply select these two borders and cap them. So you can't cap this. It will just connect everything as it was. So you need to bridge something first and then you can cap them. I want to take another look at our reference real quick. How many closets? We have one, two, three, four. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's isolate this. Press Ctrl V on this to make a duplicate. Make this two. Convert this to edit poly. Select these. Loop. Chamfer. 0.25. Open chamfer. Select this. 0.5. Minus 0.5. Press 3. Ctrl A. Cap. Alt A. Click here. On the Y axis, we want the maximum to the minimum. It's just a trial and error. And put this here. That's nice. We're going to do the same here. So let's do that. So select this. Click connect. Maybe this is good. So if you look at this image, we have approximately like it's 50 centimeters. I like that. And just like always, I press here. So I press 4 to go to polygon mode. And I press shift and click. Okay. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to press shift. I'll move my mouse and click. Press D, detach as a clone. Yes. Then this, let's just move it two centimeters in, as always. Select all of this. Select these guys. Let's do chamfer, 0.25. Open. Select this, 0.5. Minus 0.5. Shell. And we are golden. Let's do the same here real quick. Minus 2, D to detach as a clone. Select this face. Let's do a connect. Total of 6. Let's do chamfer. 0.25, open chamfer. Select this, click shell. And instead of inner, let's just make it outer. And there we go. I'm taking a look now at what is left in general. Still have the bed. We need to add our light sources, the cabinets. The sliding doors. Here we have a sliding door. There we go. So I would imagine 
the sliding door is like one centimeter of sick nerve or two. Let's say it starts in the middle here to here. So I'm going to add an edit poly modifier and move this like to here. And now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select these three meshes. This one here, I would delete, just click on this and do a cap, select this, also do a cap and do the following. This can be set to a height of 280, but let's just do it from here. All right. And select these edges, do a connect, do a chamfer, open it like so, and imagine this going all the way to here so here we can add swift loop okay and we can select these inner faces and delete them and i can get rid of this because i don't want it and i can select this and this edge click b to bridge and b again is my shortcut so just click bridge select three to select this border and press on oh it doesn't work so let's do it again select just one border wrap it q cap there is something wrong it says and what is that oh actually yes i know what's wrong we don't have the same amount of topology so i'm going to add a swift loop okay and make it the exact same height and now when i select this and i do my rapid q cap it will just work perfect all right, so that should be it for today's lesson. I hope you found this one useful. In the upcoming lessons, we will be working on the frames of the windows, doors, and whatnot. I think you've seen more than enough of these closets. So if you found this useful, don't forget to leave a like, share it with a friend, and as always, make good art, and I will see you soon.